this little uh, one month weight loss challenge here. So you can tell I'm just not waking up. I got a little, a little bit of bed head right here. Yep. All right. So October 15th to November 15th. November 15th is actually wrestling season uh, for us over here in Maryland, Elkton, Maryland. Shout out. So just want to get a little one month challenge going. Uh, document everything, journal everything, and let the people see what it's like to really diet. As opposed to yo-yo dieting and starving yourself and, you know, sit in the sauna for however long it takes. So, each week, check weight, post a video, everything that happened in the week, in the past. Alright, we're going to do a couple eggs and avocado for breakfast. Pretty simple. Alright, so day one, got the eggs, got the avocado. We're going to add a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. We've got some, that's your basic chunky salsa. So, nothing fancy. Uh, definitely highlight, uh, for anyone who's really trying to follow along, or people are just interested anyway. So, I plan on cutting out a lot of the bad stuff. Yeah, I feel like these are like no-brainers. Um, sugar, candy, things like that. Sugary drinks, that's a big one. Bad carbs, obviously. You want to cut out a lot of that junk. I want to make this thing as simple as I possibly can. So that way, I'm not going to stray too far from it. I'm not going to want to leave. Um, my comfort zone health food wise and that's uh, something I could follow daily for this next month I'm actually here at work so that's going to be a tough one I actually work for a pizza delivery place so got to make sure I watch out for things like free pizza at work or things that you snack on that would normally snack on at work a lot of things that, that got me to where I am right now I used to drink a lot more water than before. I don't know if it's because I'm, you know, I was just more motivated, or I, you know, I mean, I wasn't as heavy, so I can do things without thinking about them a little easier. I definitely reached um, a high point for me weight-wise last night. It was like two. I think I weighed like two forty-two and point six, something like that. For me, that's a high point. For those of you who don't actually know me to me in person. I'm about 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, so, being 240 pounds, 242 pounds is actually a lot heavier than I need to be. I'm getting older, so I'm feeling that poundage on my joints, my bones. I'm just feeling more sore, you know, lazier than I used to. And that's probably because of the weight that I put on. So, I'm definitely trying to get that off. keep it off. I don't I don't like it. I hate it. I'm a pretty active guy. I like to stay active. I have been that active recently, so I want to get back to that for sure. Definitely want to get back to that. Look at my face right now. My face looks uh, my face looks fatter than it usually is. So I don't like that stuff either. 
feel like I, I know some of you are thinking, you're probably thinking, oh, that's great, like, oh, you know, 240 is not too bad, and 230 is not too bad. Those weights are fine if, you know, if you have, like, a high muscle percentage, or if you're, you know, over six foot, those weights, those numbers shouldn't scare anybody. But for me being, you know, 5'10", you should be anywhere from, like, 160 to 180 is like a healthy range percentage wise for body fat. Actually, I'll check my body fat later today and we'll see how bad that is. That's a scary one. But I don't want to push myself to where I feel like crap, I look like crap, and then obviously my numbers prove that crap lives here. Who wants to live where crap lives, right? So I want to get that fat off. Day three, um, actually out of some eggs, so just gonna do some old fashioned oats. Some oatmeal, nothing special, no sugars, oatmeal, great breakfast, cool. Day three, it's Wednesday, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's not even like I'm even dieting really, I'm just feel like I'm just eating different things. I'm just not drinking tons of sugar and lemonades and sodas and stuff which I actually get that stuff for free at work so it's a plus you know I'm drinking I'm drinking water whenever I'm thirsty even even if I think I'm thirsty I'll, I'll take a sip of water something else I've got a big uh, you know gallon jug I'm carrying with me and doing this whole entire trip so feeling pretty good so far let's see what happens the rest of the day so today is Saturday. It's actually the first Saturday. Uh, my hair actually looks better in the, in the light. First Saturday of this challenge. Feeling good. There's a couple things I definitely want to tweak for next week. I know that for sure. But I don't feel like I'm dying. That makes sense. I don't feel like I'm hurting for things that I'm not eating as much of. I used to drink a ton of soda at work. I used to eat pizza and things like that, so I'm not really craving those things, which is good. It's a good start. Can't wait till next week and start tightening things up a little more. But, feeling pretty good, so I'm gonna keep this thing going. Just getting ready to have a regular old Saturday. I'm gonna take the baby to go see uh, some relatives. We've got a young baby in the house now. So that also has made it pretty hard dieting wise. It's definitely one of the reasons why I've gotten as big as I've gotten. Um, yeah, that sympathy weight is real. That dad weight is real if you let it be. So trying to avoid that. Trying to be anti dad bod. So, got some diapers right there. You guys wanna help me carry them? Normal little Saturday plan. Trying to still stick to some things. There's, there's a moose down there. Moosey. Moose. What's up? You see this thing? You see the camera? Right here. All right. All right, so it is week, start of week two, week one weigh-ins. So let's see what we got. See that right there? 237.4. So two pounds, two pounds, point two to be exact, but you know, I'm not not gonna really hang on that point two there too much, but just made a couple little tweaks to my, my average normal, you know, day. I cut out a lot of, a lot of sugary drinks. I cut out a lot of, um, like junk carbs, you know, potato chips and you know, things like that. Things that you don't really need, but you, you just, 
end up eating like one and they end up eating like 16 of them or a bag so cut out a lot of junk like that I definitely made sure I ate cleaner food so if I had like you know chicken breast I made sure it was just chicken breast and then you know a little salt and pepper or something it wasn't anything crazy they, you know weren't they weren't like uh, smothered and you know butter sauce or anything crazy like that so just just tiny little tweaks you know I didn't go vegan I didn't go no carb I didn't do any of that stuff you know there were some things in moderation but you know kinda just getting myself back onto this diet plan and now I'm actually feeling a good bit better so two pounds not too bad and the biggest thing I think you'll be shocked to find out is I didn't do any exercise at all there was not a single push-up single crunch single sit up single pull up nothing didn't do any sort of exercise at all so I'm actually gonna start ramping that up during week two I mean maybe we'll see double the numbers maybe we'll see something different I don't know we'll see but here we go